some of you guys have been asking who is coming to the wedding like is there going to be anybody else there what's good fizz fam welcome back to the videos it's a new day it's a new house which we're actually in <laughs> we've moved again just keeping that stimulation level up to level 999 worked up such an appetite when we've been carrying all the bags here but this one is so much better equipped check this out we have a cool little seat which Karma can now sit in, ready for when she has her food. I bet you've got an appetite as well, haven't you, Karmzies? Yeah? You've been, have you been trying to eat these flowers, look, which the owner's very nicely given us? Actual real life flowers, they smell nice, don't they? Darren. Hello. But before we go for some fatigue, I have to go and get my wedding dress. I have to go to the shop. It's today the appointment is where I'm going to try it on, see if they've altered it right, and I can take it away. They're going to box it up for me. Okay. How exciting is that? I'm well. actually going to be getting the wedding dress today, guys, which is why we had to actually move into this house. Basically, the other one we were in, Darren was booking the wedding, and unfortunately, some other people were moving in today, so we had to extend our stay in another place, basically. But it's really good fun because we've stayed in, like, three places now in Brighton. Yeah. My, yeah. my favourite one is the last one we've just been in, though. What was your favourite one? The last well, one we've only he just got in this know. one. Yeah, it's kind when of he just got here. You know why I like this one? Because it was near that really nice coffee shop. It was like literally just around the corner of However, the coffee shop. However, yeah, but we're, we're um, very near the gym now. Oh, yeah, that's a good near the gym. We're literally near the gym. Little calmsies, your reaction is always like, what's going on? Oh, the yeah. So thing. much stimulation for you. I put it down on you. the floor over there when we first got in, and she was pulling that, like, <laughs> we're really just saying that we really feel like babies they really love going into new places so like because we keep staying in like loads of different places she's getting so much stimulation like um it's probably really really good for her development because she's like seeing yeah. these new things she's got new things to explore because when you keep seeing the same thing over and over guys your brain like blanks it and like time can go a lot quicker whereas when it gets new stimulation time goes slower so i feel like literally since we've been vlogging down the last like two three years feels like 10 years it's yeah. absolutely wild because we're cramming so much in yeah. but speaking of um development i really want to show you a little clip of where karma was standing up on the table on her own she just gets up on the table oh. and stands there watch this what are you up to karma are you standing yes. up on your own you just got up all on your own that's absolutely crazy make sure you concentrate so you don't fall yeah well done. Right, me and Mia, and of course, little baby Karma, we're about to show you our rooms. Right, so this is Karma's room, as okay. you can see. It's Karma's bed. She's probably not going to sleep in no, here. No, she's not going to sleep she's in here, but it's just to, a little play area. Yeah, we can put some toys in there, in here. and she'll no, be... No, she's already trying to break it. <laughs> Go on, Karma. Now I'm going to show you my room. So in here is my room, nice room, Ooh, very fancy. Nice. And you know what you have to do when you first get to a place? <laughs> Give the bed a little test. Now we can show you calm. No. My room. Your room. Now it's time for my room. So my room is at the you top of the house. Steps. I have the best room out of all the house because I have my own bathroom with a shower and then this is my bedroom it's all tropical themed i knew you would love this room i that's why i saved it for you because i knew you'd love all of the tropicalness <laughs> cool pillows very nice oh she She's wants to go under the bed in the last place karma was always trying to go under my bed but the like bed frame was a little bit too low for her like her head would bang onto it but for some reason she couldn't like work out that she needed to duck down to go underneath however this one oh she's got the same problem again look she's just a little bit too high but then she doesn't duck down <laughs> Okay guys, now it's time for me to go and see my dress to have it fitted on me and hopefully guys it fits me. If it doesn't then I feel like they'll have to quickly get it altered again in time because our wedding, well we're leaving the UK in like four days time I think, something like that. So like I haven't got long to do it but Darren did say when we go to the next destination perhaps then I can get it fitted again because I have been eating really clean and exercising loads as well so you never know I might actually go down like a little bit anyway in size but who knows anyway guys I'm not getting too stressed about it to bridezilla i'm actually just really enjoying it now to begin with 
when we were talking about the wedding plans, like I did get a little bit overwhelmed by it, but now I'm just really enjoying the process and I just feel really grateful that we're able to do it. But we're now gonna be going to see the wedding dress and you're not allowed to come, okay? Yeah, of course. Do you wanna stay here with Dad? I want the surprise anyway. You want the surprise, yeah? Surprise, and yeah. you're gonna stay here with Daddy, so don't cry for milk, okay? Because he hasn't got a boobie. Oh, you're only doing that carrot stick anyway, aren't you? Look at you, you got the little orange cheeks. Aww. And also, I think I had to do a pee not too long ago, so okay, um, it's convenient. Like a carrot stick, it's a crepe. Oh yeah, well they're called carrot. <laughs> what are they called? Carrot sticks. Yeah, but they're not carrot sticks. <laughs> they they tricked you there. They did. They did. Well, what they are? They're like these puffed corn things. So they're a bit like what Watsits are, but no cheese, and they're like got really like basically nutritious ingredients for babies. Yeah, they're, they're good. really good because they dissolve in her mouth and she does a trick. Anyway, I've got to stop going on about it. Mia, I need your assistance because I want yes. you to come with me and give me your opinion, if that's okay. okay. Yeah, Do you cool. mind? I'm so excited for this. So by the way, little update. Darren has been very naughty. He still has oh, not dear, got yeah. his suit yet. I know. I know, guys. He better not leave it to the last minute and have to wear yeah, like it's like gym shorts or something. I won't be happy. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. Right, see ya. So we just went to the wedding shop and Mum tried on the dress with all the alterations and it looked so pretty. Now that it's not like you know got loads of pins sticking out of it and stuff, it you can just like visualize it more and it's yeah. gonna look so gorgeous. Also, they went free with you. What you've got to do? What is your yes. role? Okay, so I've got to make sure that I pull down all the layers of the dress because if the layers are like muddled up then you'll be able to see it through in the photos and stuff like that and it'll just look a bit messy. Plus and it won't be as puffy would it? Yeah it won't be as puffy. All the layers sort of trap air and give it yeah. like extra volume and make it you know that it makes it look more like the shape it's meant yeah, to be. It yeah. did look beautiful, guys, if I yeah. must say. I know you're not meant to say that about yourself, but I did think I, it looked good. Yeah, it looked it, amazing. You're allowed to say that about your wedding yeah, dress, yeah. aren't you? And also, she said that I need to do the bustle, so basically, because the skirt is like quite long, and then mum probably won't be able to walk like that for quite a lot of it, um, so I can tie it, there's like some ribbons, and I can tie it up, and then the skirt back bit isn't so long, so she'll be able to walk better in it. Yeah, so you're gonna be my little helper for the yeah. day. Yeah, <laughs> let's get back home, because I am literally so hungry now. Me too. <laughs> Oh, I want feed. Well, Darren. Where is it? Darren. Hello. There's some bad news. Well, it doesn't fit. I need to stop eating all those donuts. <laughs> sure. No, it does fit. It fitted perfectly. Yeah. It looks beautiful, didn't it, Mia? It so. was so gorgeous. It fitted like a glove. It was amazing. Yeah, but I do have to be careful though because um, right, there is a tiny little bit of room in there. But yeah. if I was to gain some weight, then it would be really tight and uncomfortable. So you don't want to go for pizza now then? Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, no, what we're doing is like, we like to eat out once a week at the weekend and you can actually fit that in. But no, I can't go crazy and like start eating buffets every day and like go mental. Yeah. Donuts. Right, so Darren, the reason I haven't got the dress with me right now is because I'm gonna go back there um, next week, right before we leave, and then they're gonna have it all boxed up for me. Right. All packaged together. If they box it up now and I take it away, it's flattened then it'll like crease it and the yeah, dress will sure. be like crumpled. So they're cool. gonna steam it, make it all beautiful. The ladies were so helpful and kind in them. It looked beautiful yeah. and I'm really happy with the choice. And um, well done on all of you guys who guessed correctly. I'll let you know what dress I chose. It was number three. But you'll get to see me in it on the wedding day. I didn't want to show you uh, me trying it on just because I want to keep it a nice surprise for you guys. But you did you did guess correctly. Number three, it was. Hello, did you miss me? Did you do a poo for daddy? Did you do a big poo? No, she didn't actually miss you. She was uh, having some fun eating yeah. and then some afterwards. Lentils. Lentils, yeah. wow. Do you know what's going to happen now? What? Hopefully, she's nice and full and she'll have a nap. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll. She should do that. Um, she did eat a lot. Yeah? yeah she she ate a lot, but then she got a bit. Oh, well done. She wanted to play so Is that a bin? Like, a bin. Woo! The best toy ever. Bin bag and bin. So, Kami, did you do a poo for daddy then? Because I heard you do a massive, like, crump. Did she? No. No, because she was in the high chair and her face went. And like she went all red. This is a bit weird when you like you have eye contact with a baby when they're yeah, pooing. Yeah. Can any of you relate to that? It feels you slightly really weird. Away, yeah. yeah, she's like <laughs> making noises. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm sort of doing poo impressions on the vlog. Sorry about that, but it was hilarious. So I'll just have to vlog her one day, like doing her poo. Actually, I won't do that. That's really weird. I don't know what I'm going on. <laughs> That's just too much. I'm going crazy, aren't I? I'm delirious.
filled that empty space in my stomach with one Your whole soul. giant pizza. I can't believe, like, I can fit a pizza from my stomach. I was just saying it, like, you know when you have, like, you suddenly think of something which is really obvious. It's like, Mia, can you believe that we can fit a whole pizza in our stomach? Like, <laughs> how does it fit in there? Like, I know. It's not I just in your stomach. Up. It's like. What do you mean? Yeah, like, well, it's your whole digestive system. It's, it's not, not it's just. You get to work that quick, is it? No, but like you're saying, where the space it occupies. Yeah. It occupies like you know, a lot. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't make sense. Anyway, guys, if any of you know the scientific answer to how also, a pizza can fit in you, that's all of the moisture is being squeezed out of everything you eat. Yeah. So it's only just like the. Dry stuff left, isn't it? Yeah, we can actually vlog in there as you know because Karma is sleeping peacefully. And guess what? The little cheeky monkey, she's still sleeping. No, she's having a well good time. She's now gonna have like her proper sleep, which she should be having in the night. Yeah. But she's having it in the daytime, guys. She's about what's like, going on a thousand hours behind on sleep, so yeah. she's catching up on it now. And then she's gonna be ready to party tonight. I know, <laughs> but it was nice, guys. I got to eat my pizza without having her, without having her climb all on my lap and trying to grab it all because I don't think she's you could have had that because I had a spicy one. Did you enjoy your pizza? Yeah, I really did. Guess what scientists see and I have found today? A stick! And it's actually making me forget about that I'm freezing cold because I'm wearing a skirt with no leggings. Yeah, all of a sudden, Brighton has got cold. We've had such lovely weather, like it felt like it was spring. Now it feels like winter again, like I'm really cold. Right, weather alert. Weather alert. Weather alert. Come well, on. we were going to go for a walk on the it's beach, the but channel. we just want to go in and get cozy. Look, he's waking up. Now we've got home. You missed out on everything, Carmsies. You missed out on pizza. You missed out on cheesecake. You missed out on this like banana dip, which you dip your pizza crust into. You missed out on kombucha. So I'm very sorry about that, but you did have a lovely sleep, didn't you? You caught up on your sleep now. What's Sienna up to? I'm just looking out the window. <laughs> Are you looking at her little puppy? Are you looking at her dog? You want to eat the dog? Oh, you're just on a little burp. Just on a burp in anticipation. Just got her eyes on the dog, I think. It's the answer. <laughs> I don't know if the girls showed you this when they gave you a mini tour, but there is actually a travel cot in this room. What do you think of that? Is that terrifying or what? See what you think of it. Oh. You're gonna wonder why you're suddenly in there. I know. Oh, look at her. <laughs> We've had a lovely sleep. Look at her in there. Oh. You think you'll sleep in there tonight? I mean, she's not gonna. But she's after the, the stairs, tag. She spotted that tag straight away. Well, what, you love tags. What else you? is there to spot in there? I know it's really <laughs> clinical looking. Guys, I'll be really, really lucky if she sleeps in there tonight. To be honest, though, I don't mind sharing a bed with her. We're co-sleeping, and it's going really, really well. It's just that I'd like her to sleep in the bed with us, if she not be to awake. Feed if that makes sense. Anywhere. If she's in there, we'd wake up even more. I know That'd exactly. And she'd worse. cry and she'd be yeah, scared. Yeah. She loves it in bed with us, don't you, Karma? Yeah. Both me and Dan are super light sleepers, so it's like absolutely fine. Anyway, guys, loads of you have been asking or should I say some of you guys have been asking who is coming to the wedding like is there going to be anybody else there and the answer to that is we have mentioned this before is that it's just going to be us it's literally just going to be Darren, me, Sienna, Mia and Karma. Oh you got all their names right. I know I have to say it really slowly which is so bad. The reason for that guys is just because we don't have many friends and family then the, some of the family members we do have they'd be unable to travel and um, at the end of the day we just want it to be about us and not having to worry about other people so it's just worked out really well that it can just be us so it saves all the stress and the hassle and we just feel like it's more going to be intimate and romantic rather than us having to like plan a huge wedding and like consider everybody else's needs and who can come, who can't come, and like who gets along and who doesn't get along and who believes in this and who doesn't believe in that. Like I literally just don't want any of that. I just want it to be simple, minimalistic. But as a result, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, when I say minimalistic, this kind of is so not good. gonna be minimalistic, this wedding. I class min a minimalistic wedding as like simple, Ooh. like simplified with not loads of guests and family and like really like huge wedding list, loads of catering. It's gonna be simple in that way. However, Darren has got something crazy oh. planned. So in that respect, it's not going to be minimalistic. But the lady, um, so you know the first shop I went to for the wedding dress where they said we couldn't film in there and I didn't get a dress from there in the end. Well, basically the lady who was trying the dresses on me, she said to me that she's a wedding photographer and she said her favourite weddings are the ones where there are hardly any guests. Because she said when it's a large wedding, she says that it just feels more like a show, like the bride and groom are putting on a show for 
Ravi one for them to be impressed by or to judge. Whereas the smaller, more intimate weddings, she said that it just feels more, it's more about love. So ours is going to be super, super small. So I hope it's going to be all about love. Which is just, you guys, just having you there, it's just all that matters know, to it me. It makes it feel even more special, actually. Yeah. Because while we were in the planning of things and we were thinking about one, you know, at a much later date, and thinking about inviting various people to it and stuff, it gets really complicated and you forget what it's actually about and you're just trying to think of like making sure everyone else is happy, but obviously it needs to be a special event for us. <laughs> okay. Oh look at her you look at ducks come, aren't you? Uh, and then I don't feel like we'll feel <laughs> any lack by it just being us. No. It'll feel like there's so much love. It's always us anyway, isn't it? However, it is always us. However, if we started then trying to think who can come and who can't come, then it would make us start feeling like we're lacking. And I've got the family I want and the family I need, and I don't feel any lack. I feel like so much love, especially since karma has been here. Like life has just been even more amazing, and I just feel so much love, and I'm just so grateful to have Darren in my life, and he's like going to be an amazing stepdad to Mia. Like Darren met me, and then he's taken on Mia, and then he's given me two beautiful more children. It's just really nice. So I I just feel so lucky like honestly i feel so lucky right now so thank you darren for being my husband all right it means so up. much sorry if it's kind of sappy but it was really good amazing Aww. children yeah keep us up all night yeah look how cute she is <laughs> You could keep right, me up on that. Whoa, whoa. Like, that's the thing, though. We get so worried about her falling, and now she can pull herself up on furniture even when she's not on a high surface. We're really terrified. She's going to be walking well soon. Oh, imagine she's, she's walking it. by the time the wedding's here. <laughs> not that soon. No. She should be walking soon, but not that soon. You could have been the flower girl, couldn't you? Got something to say to Fizz Fam? <laughs> oh. End of the day, which means the end of the vlog. Now, guys, the girls are busy playing a game. Not arguing at the moment, though, which is amazing. Normally, you two get really competitive, don't you? Yeah. What, what are you playing? Got it. It's this game called Double. Okay. I've never played it before. Is but it fun? Working out. It's yeah. a really good brain game. Like, yeah. it's really good for your brain. And then it's now going to be your bedtime, isn't it, Carmsies? Yeah, she's trying to eat bedtime, my shoulder. Bedtime, mate. Bedtime. Yeah, she's getting all grouchy and irritable, which means that she wants to go to bed, doesn't it? So we'll say ciao for now. You're going to have to tune back in again tomorrow to find out whether I actually had any luck in getting a suit. Um, little clue. I don't know whether I'll make it out tomorrow. Hopefully. You will. You there isn't much time left. If you're new around here, click subscribe, join the Fist Fan, make videos all the time. We'll try and make you smile. See you in the next time. Treasure up to be safe.